my grandpa used to take me out to the creek in southern Kentucky, fishing almost every day of the summer months when I was just a youngin. We would sit and fish, and he'd tell me stories about him and his sister growing up. There was one story that he told me that has always stayed with me, even now almost 60 years later. It was a story about his magical great aunt Marveline and how she can make logs float. Grandpa said when he was real young, probably five or six, his mom and daddy would take him and his sister to their great Aunt Marveline's house to spend the days while they worked the fields, tended to the farm animals and all that. So they was poor, so they couldn't afford to pay people to work it for him. And with him and his little sister being so little, they couldn't keep an eye on him and work too. So they'd gather him up and take him over to the great Aunt Marveline's house to spend the day. Now, great Aunt Marveline had never been married, didn't have no youngins, so it was just him and his sister there with her. But she always made sure they was happy and having fun. Great Aunt Marveline was a short, round woman with poofy white hair, bright, twinkling blue eyes, and chubby, round cheeks, always had a smile. And boy, could she cook a mess of beans and taters. But the best thing about staying with the great Aunt Marveline was when she would sit us down in the living room by the fireplace and would float logs over to the fireplace. She said, now youngins, don't reach out there and touch it now. Let them float over to the fireplace. Don't want you to get your fingers mashed. It always amazed me and my little sister to see it every time it happened. This went on for years and years. Mom and Daddy would take us over there and drop us off and we'd play and have a good old time and she'd float logs over to the fireplace. I just know she's full of magic. But as it does, years passed and Great Aunt Marveline got older and older. Around the time I was 11 and my sister was 9, we was told that during the winter, Great Aunt Marveline had gotten real bad sick and passed away. And I tell you, me and my sister, we were heartbroken. We would never get to see our magical great aunt Marveline anymore and see her floating them logs. We both grieved her for the longest time. Well, as me and my sister got older, we would talk about her and them floating logs. And one time we was sitting there talking and daddy heard us. And he said, youngins, what are y'all talking about? Well... We told him he throwed his head back and laughed so hard his eyes was watering. He said, Lord, have mercy. She still had that thing set up, didn't she? Well, me and my sister looked at each other and said, what thing? Well, Daddy said that when Great Aunt Marveline was younger, she got thrown from a horse, hurt her back real bad, and it stunted her growth and made her back muscles real weak so she couldn't lift and carry things. So her daddy had made her this little pulley thing from thin ropes and with a little basket where she could put the pieces of wood in it and float them over to the fireplace. In her house, you know, not having no electricity back in there, it was kind of dark. And us being little, we couldn't see the thin ropes up at the ceiling. And when she was pulling on them ropes, all it looked like to us was she was directing them floating logs to the fireplace where they fall in. She knows she wasn't magic, but she didn't have the heart to tell us. And because we believed it, she let us. And it made her happy to see us thrilled about what she was doing. I reckon it had never crossed Grandpa's and his sister's minds that magical great Aunt Marveline only ever floated logs and nothing else. But I guess when you're little, you, you don't look too hard from them kinds of things. Now, I know this ain't no... Witch or Hank's story, Miss Laura, but to them, she was magic. And I wanted to share with you the story of my grandpa's magical great aunt Marveline. Thank you for your stories that you bring all of us.
God bless you and all that you do. Robert Bannister. Mr. Bannister, that was an absolutely wonderful story. I absolutely loved it. Didn't see the end coming, but I just loved it. If y'all like this video, hit the like button. Share it out for me. Subscribe if you ain't already. I surely would appreciate it. Also, if you haven't already, why don't you consider becoming a member? I'd surely appreciate it. Here's a thank you to my members right here on the screen. And as always, everybody, be the sunshine in somebody's day. Because you never know who's going to need it. I love you all, and I'll see you next time.